what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off and just run through uh, a brief introduction to the day management quality management framework that we've put in place at the Marine Institute. I'm not going to keep this really short because I know a lot of you were on the call that we had a few weeks ago where we introduced this and some others have seen it before. Um, if anybody wants to have a, a, a kind of deeper overview, um, just give me a shout afterwards and we can we can organise something for you. So really, this kind of came out of um, the national the National Oceanographic Data Centre, National Marine Data Centre activity that the Marine Institute is involved in and the uh, International Oceanographic Data and Information Exchange, which is part of UNESCO. Um, they were looking for the data centres to go through and put in place data management, quality management frameworks based on this kind of plan, do, check, act uh, life cycle. And it's supposed to be a kind of iterative life cycle as well. So you kind of go through it and you keep going, keep going through it so that things don't end up being static. And this was really good for us as well, because part of what we were trying to do in terms of the Marine Institute's data strategy was kind of set a bar for um, data management quality um, around the Marine Institute as well. So it really helped us, helped us with that. And that's kind of one of the one of the places that, that it came from. So we've based it around uh, ISO 9000 and uh, you'll see a few of these Dilbert kind of cartoons uh, through the presentations this morning. But one of the things with ISO 9000 is you don't. Yeah, I mean, people people kind of make the assumption that it's just all about documentation and it kind of dies once it's been written down. And that's one of the things that we really wanted to try and avoid with our data management quality management framework. It's all well and good kind of putting systems in place. But if you uh, if you make them dead, then they're only as good as the last time they were updated. So really um, what we want to introduce today is some of the ways that we've kind of gone about making it, making, making this a live system. And so we're going to go through um, three kind of key pieces that we've put in place in the Marine Institute um, around implementing our data management, quality management framework. And those are going to be the data management plan, where um, and these are kind of ideas that I've, I've pulled from the FAIR principles, the findable, accessible, uh, interoperable and reusable principles of data management. So the data management plan where you're kind of looking at where are you going to store your data? What standards are you going to need to report your data to? Who do you need to give access to your data? And how are you going to make that data available? Um, what kind of license are you going to put on, on your data? And so those are all kind of key questions that you'll you'll ask in a, in a data management plan, and we'll, we'll come back to that uh, in a bit more detail in a moment. And we're going to talk a bit about process flows uh, and mapping out visually what happens from it for a data set. How does it get from collection or creation through uh, processing, through curation, through to uh, its final resting place, whether that's publication or archival? And then how do you how do you catalog your data? What are the kind of key bits of uh, provenance information that you're kind of trying to uh, address. So again, it's linked to where did the data come from? How did it get to uh, a state that it's in at the moment? Who can use it? How can they use it? What what terms and conditions are we putting on their usage of the data? Uh, having common descriptions of data so that it's interoperable both internally uh, inside the catalog, but also externally with uh, other groups and a little bit about persistent identification of data sets as well. But that's all uh, kind of all well and good if you do it in isolation. But one of the things we're trying to do is kind of continually come back and assess these things as well. And so uh, within the data management quality management framework, we've got this idea of performance evaluations rather than uh, full blown uh, kind of audits because we're, we're kind of aligned with ISO 9000 at the moment. We haven't got the full certification yet. Uh, something we'll look at over over the next few years but again it's kind of freeing people up to do their jobs as well which this this uh, cartoon alludes to so it's letting the data specialists do the data management and set the standards for data management and assist with the data management and then letting the domain specialists get on with their jobs of doing the science and doing the processing and do the reporting that they need to do as well so it's kind of just making sure we're all doing our jobs to the best of our ability and also to the skills that we have really. And so as well, um, this is this is another ISO 9000 audit kind of slide, but um, yeah, it's not about something that's going to die and something that something that um, 
something that's uh, just there for the sake of it being there. It's something that's there really to improve uh, and, and harmonize our data management processes across the Marine Institute. And that's why we're sharing it uh, with the ISDE network today as well. So just to say um, that you know, the drive for this came from some of the work we were doing with the IODE through UNESCO. Um, last February, we got our, our accreditation as the IODE National Oceanographic Data Center with a da data uh, management quality management framework. Um, so at the time, we were one of only uh, nine uh, centers globally with that accreditation. Um, and so it's just just kind of pointing out that that it's been through a review process as well. So um, I'm going to stop there. Um, I can take one or two very quick questions in general about the, the framework. Otherwise, we'll uh, dig into some of these um, processes that we've got in place, some of these documents and templates, and we can share those with you later and go through some examples just to kind of uh, show you. Um, we'll circulate these slides and that link at the bottom of this slide um, is a paper that we published on the on the quality management framework and um, that's open access. And so um, it's a good starting point if you want to grab any 